Hello and welcome back to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and upload our Django project to Heroku. Um, before we get started, it's uh, pretty important to note that you can run into problems here. And I don't want you guys getting discouraged. I'm here to help you. So if you do get a problem, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at mastercode.online. I'll be more than happy to get you guys up and running because if you guys don't get up and running, well, you're not going to watch the rest of my tutorials. You're not going to learn anything and I'll be wasting my time. So my goal here is to get you guys up and running. And if you guys have any issues, please let me know. Um, so let's get started. First thing we're going to need to do is install Gooniecorn. What is Gooniecorn? Well, Gooniecorn is basically the WSGI HTTP server for Unix. So it allows us to serve our site up on Heroku. So to install Gooniecorn, we're going to do pip install um, G-U-N-I-C-O-R-N. And we're going to install that. There we go. Install and collect the patch. Or successfully installed the Gooniecorn. Is what we should say. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install um, a package that will allow us to connect to um, Postgres. And I need to look up that package because they changed it recently on me. P S Y C O P G two. And I should have done this before I started the project, but I wasn't thinking. There we go. It's binary. That's what I thought it was. So it's going to be pip install p y or p s y c o p g two hyphen binary like that. And there we go. Successfully installed. Um, however you want to pronounce that. Basically, what this package does is allows our Django pra uh, package to connect to a Postgres database, which we're going to have up and running on Heroku. There we go, we got those two packages installed. So <clears throat> before I mention, anytime we install a package, we should probably uh, run pip freeze. Well, this is a great time to run that because if we don't, we're not gonna have our site up and running on Heroku when we upload it. So we'll do pip freeze with the carrot pointy uh, eating freeze. If you wanna look at it that way requirements.txt all right um, probably be smart to check to make sure it's in there before we actually upload to see if we got um, the Postgres package and the Gooniecorn package installed all right cool all right next thing we want to do is go ahead and if you haven't log in to Heroku so we can do Heroku login all right most of you should be logged in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to log in if you're not logged in. So we'll just go ahead and put your name in and your password. I hope that's my password. Oh, it is. Sweet. All right. So I'm logged in. All right. Because we need to be logged in, obviously, to um, upload our site to Heroku. Uh, next thing we're going to do is create a Heroku application. We can do Heroku Create. All right. This is going to create us an application on Heroku. Uh, my application is com-tor and then these numbers here. That is the name of my application. This is the URL for now until we change the URL. Um, but this is where we will have it until we're ready to actually um, hand it off to the public uh, as a fully productive site. Um, so if you want to test on a server, this is probably the best idea to do it so no one can actually visit your website until it's ready. All right, with that being said, next thing we need to do is go and open up our settings.py file in here and go to a loud host. And then back in your terminal real quick, I should have copied this um, right here. Notice we don't need the HTTP S or the forward slashes. We don't need them. We just need our URL right here. Back into the um, settings.py file, uh, put in quotes because it should be a string and put in your URL right in there. All right. 
Cool. Next thing we're going to do is uh, take a snapshot of our project for git. So we're saying git add period git commit hyphen m and we'll say push to Heroku. So if we ever need to look it up, we can say, oh, right here is where I pushed it to Heroku and we could roll back if we need to. Um, Uh, what else we gotta do? Oh, all right. So now we're gonna go ahead and push it to her, push it to Heroku. So we do git push Heroku master. All right, and this will push it to Heroku. So right now it is bundling everything up. It is pushing to Heroku. Notice that uh, it says Python app is detected. It's installing Python. It's installing pip. It's installing SQLite three. We're not gonna use SQLite. Um, and then it goes ahead and installs all our packages. Notice uh, Python time zone, white noise. Uh, if we go back up, you'll see there's Goonicorn, there's Django. It's installing all the packages. And now it ran Python collect static. I've mentioned this before. What happens is it collects all the static into one file and um, uploads it. And let's see. It's compressing, it's launching, and in about a second we'll be able to test out our project. But before we can do that, we need to migrate our database. All right, we migrate it on the development side, and we also need to migrate it on the production side. So to do this, we're going to do her. Uh, let me clear my screen so it's back at the top. We'll do Heroku uh, run Python manage.py migrate. Now, if we want to run a command that we most we would normally run on our development side by running Python manage.py migrate, if we want to run it on the server side, we have to put Heroku run. All right, so now it's going to go ahead and migrate our database based on the migrations that we did on the development side. And notice it does content types, authentication, admin, sessions. So it's migrating all that to the database. We had to clear our screen. Um, and now we will go ahead and open up our project in the browser. Um, so to do this, we'll go ahead and go over to any browser and paste in your URL. And there we go. My site's up and running. Notice that. Now if I do fort slash admin, it should bring up the admin page. There we go. Now note that we can't log into the admin side until we create a super user because the super user is on our development side and not on our um, production side. To do that, we're going to go ahead and do um, Heroku run python manage.py make migrations, not make what the hell am I talking about? We're doing great super user. It's my birthday weekend, so I am just out in the middle of nowhere right now. So there we go. Heroku run python manage.py create super user. So we're going to create our super user. This way we can access the back end of our site. And I'll just put in my credentials here. There we go, and now I should be able to log in as admin and my password. Boom, there we go. So there you guys go, you got a fully functional website up on Heroku. Now, if you ran into any issues, let's discuss what could have went wrong with this process. Um, first off, if you visit the website and you got a 500 error, all right, let's start with the 400 error. All right, let's discuss this. So if you visit, visit the website and got a 400 error, let me upload it to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to upload the site. If you got a 400 error, most likely your issue is going to be the allowed host in here is incorrect. All right. Um, so 
basically you got to make sure you set this properly you don't include the HTTPS um, you just want the after the colon to the end of the dot com included in there all right um, if you got a 500 or your migrations on your database probably was not correct or one of your settings in your for your CSS JavaScript is not correct on your home page all right let me just uh, visit the site now. This should not work. Should give me an error. See, a bad request, 400 error. That indicates that you didn't set up the loud host correctly. Uh, 500 error is going to be either the database isn't configured properly, or your um, uh, your uh, links in your index page here are not con uh, configured properly. All right. So before you come and start. Uh, asking questions would probably be smart for you to make sure that your files are correct just like mine if you visit our website at mastercode.online you'll be able to um, check out the documentation we have all the pages on there so you guys can actually check your code all right um, like I was saying uh, another 500 error would be your migrations aren't correct or your database is not correct go ahead and run her Heroku run Python managed.py migrate again uh, make sure you don't get any errors if you get an error there please let me know I'll help you out um, what other kind of errors could we possibly be getting um, another way to tr troubleshoot I know I told you before do not run debug on a live website you can run debug on a live website right now because no one knows this URL exists all right so no one's visiting your site so you can r run debug on here and it will it might give you an error if it's not a CSS or JavaScript error if it's not a database error it most likely will give you in, um, a, an error all right so if you guys have any questions please let me know uh, down in the comments leave your errors if you have an error that way I can help you out or over on our website at mastercode.online you guys have a lovely weekend. Uh, I probably won't be back until Monday doing more tutorials. Like I said, it's my birthday weekend. I'm going to have a great old time. So I'll talk to you guys then.